again, vastly more complicated than calories in, calories out. If I feed you a thousand calories of protein versus a thousand calories of carbohydrates versus a thousand calories of dietary fat, the outcome is going to be different. The way it affects your body is going to be different. Protein has what we call a very high thermic effect of food, meaning your body just has to burn a lot of calories literally by just processing, digesting, and metabolizing protein. Protein is very, very difficult to be converted into body fat and stored as body fat. Well, that's not true of dietary fat. Okay, dietary fat physiologically speaking, has a very easy time being stored as body fat. So 1,000 calories of protein in versus 1,000 calories of fat in going to be very different. And then you look at carbohydrates. When you consume 1,000 calories of carbohydrates versus fat, well, knowing that carbs are going to be the preferential fuel source, knowing that they can be stored as potential energy, as glycogen in the muscle, the fate of those 1,000 calories of carbohydrates has the potential to be very different than the fate of those 1,000 grams of fat once you eat them. And that's not even looking at the specific foods. I mean,